The world was a different place 7 million years ago. For one thing, we didn't have playstations or televisions to keep us entertained. But were humans even around? Scientists believe the first human-like species arrived between 5 to 7 million years ago. In other words, these were our earliest ancestors. Modern humans, or what scientists like to call Homo sapiens, didn't just appear overnight. They evolved from a long lineage of these other human-like species over the years. But when most people think of primitive humans, they picture a caveman. Seeing as how cavemen lived between 30,000 and 350,000 years ago, we can expect a lot of differences between them and modern humans. Now, cavemen didn't have the luxury of going to the dentist or even brushing their teeth every night. Yet, even with all these resources today, people still find a way to get cavities and even worse, dental problems. So how did cavemen fare with these lack of resources? Did they simply lose all their teeth because they couldn't keep them clean? Well, not exactly. Surprisingly, scientists who look into the mouths of fossils from the earliest humans rarely find any cavities at all. So what changed? Did these cavemen have secret techniques of preventing cavities that they didn't want to share with us? Maybe, but probably not. There are some things that could explain the differences though. For one, ancient humans didn't get to enjoy the sugary foods and sodas that we do now. Sugar wasn't invented until about 2500 years ago, many years after our ancient humans existed. There was also no such thing as processed foods, meaning the diets of these cavemen or hunter-gatherers came entirely from non-processed natural foods, including meats, fruits, and vegetables. This means that many of the foods that they ate back then had lots of nutrients, which not only made their teeth stronger but their bodies healthier as a whole. Research shows that cavities and rotten teeth didn't really start becoming apparent until about 10,000 years ago, which is about the time when our ancestors began farming. Scientists found that the rate that hunter-gatherers experienced cavities was roughly 1-5%, to while farmers showed an incidence between 10-80%. to Now, it is possible that other factors came into play as well, these were changing times, but we're just highlighting the most likely scenarios. Now hold on a second, you're telling me they could go every day without brushing and not get cavities just because their diet was better? Well, it's actually not as crazy as it sounds, and many dentists believe that one's diet is the biggest contributor to tooth decay. But that doesn't mean that brushing and flossing is not important. So how did our ancestors take care of their teeth? Cavemen were smarter than most people give them credit for, and research shows that even back then, they understood the importance of dental care. Scientists believe that cavemen used to chew on sticks, and even used grass stalks to pick in between their teeth. On top of this, the large amount of vegetables in their diet helped keep their teeth clean as well. Now, although their diet wasn't so bad, that didn't correlate with them living longer. Not having access to antibiotics and no modern medicine meant that these cavemen didn't live so long. The average life expectancy of a caveman was about 35 years, meaning even if they did get small cavities, they simply did not live long enough to develop serious dental issues. Dentistry has come a long way, but our diet and lifestyle has changed a lot since prehistoric times, and not always for the better. Have a question you'd like us to answer? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.